The first cryptocurrency that we'll be talking about today uh, is actually crypto trains or C train, a cryptocurrency currently priced at six cents, down 30% from the peak. The volume is at around four mil. Uh, we'll go over it within the video. You can buy it on PancakeSwap, obviously. We'll check out a lot of things about the cryptocurrency. We'll check out the uh, how are whales performing. Are they buying or selling the token? Price prediction, probably the socials uh, within the video. So make sure you watch the video all the way until the end for this analysis. Before we start, though, keep in mind that this is no financial advice. I'm just a random dude on the internet sharing his opinion. With that being said, the purpose of this series is pretty simple. Pretty much every single day I go over all the new tokens and all the hot tokens for the day and I give you my opinion on them or not to personally be buying into them. So if you want to learn about any of that, all you gotta do is hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Um, and uh, I'm sponsored by a really cool project. It's called Nemesis DAO. The API you're getting from it is insane. It's the best on the OHM network compared to market cap. They have a lot of updates coming in right now. The APY right now is a little lower because uh, there's so many people joining at 413,000%. Still really good. Uh, so yeah, definitely do check it out. So let's talk about crypto trains. When we go on their website, uh, there's a few things we will probably notice. Crypto Trains Corp seems like a play to earn game. I'm very, very into play to earn games. If you know me, you know you already know that I have a team that just plays these games for me. Great things we have for you. So you, it's pretty common, rare, common, rare, epic, legendary. All they're missing is normal. Normally the blue one, uh, they have uh, a light blue one uh, as common. Uh, normal is normally green and then they have a rare one. Here it seems they have four rarities, but there's different modes, which is really cool. Um, when does the game come out? So Q4, website, blah, 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 the game, gambling, what? Gambling, okay, so pre-sale NFTs, giveaways, game launch. All that should be done uh, in Q1. So within the next two, three months, from what I see, I have a list of crypto games uh, that I'm waiting for. Uh, and I will be listing it there for my team to check uh, for when it comes out. Crypto trains. Uh, so we'll be checking this out when it comes out, uh, when the game comes out. Uh, and the thing about crypto games that you should know um, right from the start is that even though um, the token might be going down when the game launches, that's not weird. The all that is important is that the marketplace is on point and it works and that the NFTs go up. This is how these games work. Um, when I click on play now, nothing happens. There's not even the marketplace. The marketplace should have been completed uh, from for what I see in Q4. Right? Oh no, it's, it's in Q1. So there's a lot of things that have to happen, I guess, but I will be waiting for the actual game because um, this is just my opinion. I've had a lot of bad experience with just going in too early on projects like this. Uh, and being too early is the same as being late because uh, you never know which project will actually succeed. I mean, some are really cool. I'm just checking crypto. Bitcoin is just going down. No matter what you do, it just goes down and down and down. I've just got so many positions. I got 14 longs and everything is going down. It's just very depressing. But yeah, so this is why we're looking for new altcoins, I guess. So we want to see uh, how their price is right now. So we're going over to the chart. And uh, definitely after the pre-sale, people started sniping massive take profit it's a very bad sign that uh, we went below the uh, of the lunch price and uh the pub, you know the chart price uh the public sale and then um the resistance is right at this price which is really really bad so if this is the beginning price right this is the where it all started basically resisted at this price people saw this uh I don't know why people would sell at this. Maybe want to get out. Uh, they didn't. If they bought in here, price started pumping. Wells to profit, and what? I mean, I I don't see. They it was really hard to take profit 
Uh, if you got in at a pre-sale price of 11 cents, uh, you had to get out within the first two hours to get in with at least 30% profit. I don't know what, what the liquidity was because it's just 200 something thousand dollars. I don't know, this doesn't look good. I want to see if Wells got out. So we'll just open up at least the Wells that we see right now. We want to see if they are in out. Did, did they buy 10 when So we'll open up a few addresses and we'll analyze how they're actually playing things out. Uh, so the first one sold 21 hours ago, which is a band sign, and so one day ago, but also acquired some, which is good. This well has been, uh, yeah, who knows if this is a well address or something there that wasn't labeled properly. There are a lot of transfers going on with this address. Um, and the addresses that receive are just holding. This folk has been buying, which is a good sign. This folk has been, um, yeah, just stock investing, didn't do anything. So I can't say anything bad about the wells, but I don't like the chart. There's no, like, it's also breaking the support right now. Uh, in, in general, if a project goes below, it's um, pre-sale price. That's always a bad sign, by the way. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you like the project? Do you dislike it? Why, why not? I want to know. I want to see you in one of the next videos.